My name is Oliver Clark. I'm a shoemaker, an animator, a husband, a father to a cat, like a cat that's really important to me. Maybe kids one day. And, uh, and I skateboard. Invert, yeah. A lot of people are like, yo, I'm a skateboarder first. I'm a skateboarder like fourth. Don't worry, comrades. I got the trick. You know, I grew up in Utah, so there was a lot of snowboarding. A lot of skateboarding there as well. My start in shoe design was pretty organic, I guess. I was in high school, senior year, and you had a lot of people making t-shirt brands at that time. I mean, I was interested in business, also fashion, and I wanted to separate myself out. So I thought to myself, oh, shoes, people are going to take you seriously. If you walk into a store with shoes, it's not something that's super easy to do with like the local screen printer. Got on the internet, Alibaba.com, found a few manufacturers and just was like, hey, I need X amount of styles for X amount of sales reps, which I didn't actually have at all. I need these shoes for free. We're going to make money, me and you, happy new year, all that stuff. And they sent me the stuff for free and I put them in a shop. And the first couple weeks it was in a shop in Salt Lake City, I started getting hit up about getting more stuff in there, like what the brand was like. And I realized like, oh shit, this like maybe is gonna go somewhere. And then um, somebody who worked for a brand out of LA invested in that company. And we did it for maybe four or five years. I moved to New York City during that time, got a job for Marc Jacobs, and I was designing accessories there. Sold the first brand quit that, had some money left over and started my namesake line, Oliver Clark, which is a men's and women's contemporary shoe brand that features shoes for skateboarding. I was like, I make shoes, like, fuck, I'm gonna make some skateboarding shoes. Like I use a uh, TPR welt stitch sole. So it's kind of a court shoe from days of old, I guess you could say. The rubber I use isn't as hard as a regular Volk sole is. The board feels extra grippy, and there's kind of a lush sense of depth to the shoe that I feel like a lot of skate shoes don't have. And since the factory that I, that I use is handmade, they develop sort of a different feel. They truly don't feel like they're off of a production line. You can tell that somebody has stitched every stitch on here with a needle and thread. And that I guess that's not for everybody in terms of how they want to skate or how they skateboard, but I just, want to be a part of skateboarding. So I'm guess doing it in the way in which I can. People seem to respond pretty well to them. I'm gonna keep doing it regardless of anything else really. I mean, Nigel, if he got in them and skated in them, it'd be fucking rad. But like, that's not really like my end game. You know, making these shoes makes it so I can skate more too. Cause I can go out and skate, film myself, do some like trick that I couldn't do yesterday. Can say, oh, that was three hours spent where it's social media content. Shit, like these shoes can skate and if you want to give them a shot, then you should give them a shot. Like when I die, which hopefully isn't too soon, it'll be, I'll just be like, I was just like, want my skateboard right here, you know? And I want to have landed a hard flip, like by that time. Yeah, just wear, just buy these fucking shoes. I gotta pay for cat food and stuff.